Hello everybody, Sam here. Um, today I'm going to be doing a, another collection video. Uh, this one is based off of something I said in my last video. Where I said that um, I'll be doing a collection video. And it would be based off of the first one that was on the comments. And so the first one that was there was the toy weapon collection. So that's what I'll be doing today. I'll be going. F so today I'll be going from first, like from uh, smallest to biggest. I'm gonna put you right there. Can you see? Okay. So first off, yeah, knife. I actually can't remember where I'd gotten this. Um, I think I'd gotten it in a revolver set. Um. That I don't think I have anymore. Um. And. Yeah. That's a knife. Next. Is. This. I actually found this. Uh. I think it was under my porch. Yeah. I think I found this under my porch. Um. People say. It looks like a flare gun, and I could guess I can agree with them. But I find it more as like a like a nine millimeter or a twenty two. One of the more weaker handguns, ones that you can fit in your pocket. Okay, that's that one. Next is another pretty small one, about the same size. It used to be bigger until the barrel broke off. One of these. Yeah, it never did. I never did get any more of the things for it. You know, it's one of those stupid thing. It's one of those, um, what are they called? One of the ones that have gunpowder in them. When this goes off, it hits the gunpowder against the metal that's right there. And it makes it explode. Or it gives it like a, like a gun sound. And that's this one. The way it broke was, so me and my friends, Oh, we were doing, like, this Hunger Games-style thing. And, um, well, I'd thrown that one to just spread all the weapons out. But it hit a tree. <laughs> That's how you know those things are cheap when they break when you hit it against a tree. Next is one of my broken ones. Because I have multiple broken ones. It's this. Um, even though it's broken, I'm still keeping it because I kind of have an idea for it. Like, two. Just two, 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 two. You know, I can't spin them around, sadly. Yeah, I was taking this apart, and I accidentally dropped it, and I couldn't find all the screws. So, yeah. I still have all the other pieces. Like, like these. Like the, the thing that you pull back to suction the air. The, the thing that you put the bullet in. Um, what are you? Oh, this is the thing that connects it, some of the things. Um, I had the, this is the thing that flows the air out. I had the air restrictor somewhere. I don't know where that is. But yeah, that's that one. I'll put all these over here. It was a little bit fun. Um, next is two of the same guns. One is, which is originally mine, and the other one was a friend's. Um, these. They're Megas. As you can tell, this one's mine. Like, the original one that was mine. This is the one that my friend gave me. And I like having the... Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it's these. I actually kind of like how, um, even though this is sections where you put an extra dart, like, almost every Nerf gun has... It looks like a scope. You can actually see through it. <clears throat> I can do that on both of them. Well, it's not very smart. <clears throat> Next is actually probably my favorite. This one. The reason why it's probably my favorite is because it's the most realistic. Because it's just... It has that, like, because it does that, real guns actually do this. When they run out of ammo, they go back when they, because pistols, they they kind of recoil. I mean, not recoil. Um, They knock back to load an extra 
another gun in and also load the hammer or like pull back the hammer but when you run out of ammo it just stays back and i like it when like i just hold it back and when i pretend to put another magazine in it's fun next this one i've had for years still one of my favorites classic and also with this you can take this out my friend would one of my older friends who is now one of my enemies thankfully i don't have to deal with him next year um you, he used to always use this for like a flash grenade until i told him to stop because i was afraid that he might break it and the reason why it can come out because if you notice right there that's where this is made for a Wii Remote. So you could put like a Wii Remote right in here and use that to press the B button to shoot. But yeah, I've had this one for a long time and still one of my favorites. Also, I'm going to be doing like the smaller weapons in one video and then I'm going to be doing the bigger weapons in another video. Did I just say video? Oh, well, I'm at video. Now, probably one of the most classic Nerf guns. I've actually had this one for a while as well. The Maverick. Yeah. Um, I was kind of messing with The reason why it does that is because I was kind of messing with it the other day. And um, when I took it apart, I kind of lost the springs that were in it. But I just put this back on anyways. And because I, I kind of like to just do... Boom, 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 boom. Pretend like it's semi-automatic or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm still coming up, I'm still coming up with ideas for this. But yeah, that's the, that's my Maverick. So yeah, that kind of opens because I couldn't find the screws. <sighs> and these are a bit weird. Because they're not actually guns or anything. They're bullets. Like, act, like, see? No, they're not rubble, it's obviously. Also, I wouldn't be putting them in this. I think they go to like one of my friend's revolvers. <laughs> oh, wait. Um, and I think he'd let me keep them, pretty sure. But yeah, that definitely looks like a revolver bullet. Just like the, like with the iron or something, and then the copper. No, these are lead. These pieces are, this part is lead in real, real life, and this is like a copper jacket. Yeah. So that's the smaller weapons. Bye.